We gotta be in physiology. Okay, guys. Hey, this is Dr. Sean over at, uh, well, this is for the Fortis online classes. And we're going to go right up here and log in. This is my login here for uh, Canvas. You guys should have one, too. Welcome to class. This is us right here. So, okay, so classes. And I posted a brand new uh, announcement. And those will show up there every week, okay? So, like, two, three times a week. So, make sure you're looking through those. As you scroll down through here, this tells you all about the class. And the first thing we're going to go to is getting started. So, getting started here is the very first thing we need to do. You look at announcements. And we're going to look at announcements real quick and then go back. There we go. There's my announcements. So, all sections. Here, class is visible. Click on this, you'll get the announcements as they come up, okay? Coming back here, got your policies, you have your syllabus. Syllabus is important to look at because it gives you when things are due, how we do them, and how stuff uh, is graded and some things like that. Now, you can also find that here, where is it? As you look through grades and stuff, and I'll show you that in a moment. Home brings us back to the main page, okay? Uh, dashboard courses other stuff you have going on here you have a calendar and an inbox calendar will tell you when things are due that's a good one to have modules probably one of the the best ones to do we're gonna do that right after book source so when you get a book please get I don't know you have this if we select if we click this right here watch we're gonna see that we have a book that we can use for this class now, the same book basically right here so this is the human body and health and illness right there that's what it looks like this one here is the fifth edition okay you guys are probably on the sixth edition or something like that we're going to opt we're going to save all our cookies and put in your email um put it here like this doop there we go and password i have no idea what my password is there we'll try that see if it works and we should be able to see the book mathering health that's terminology as we scroll down here we go right here Health and Illness ebook. This is, notice this is version 6. You can click on that and then you get the 6th the edition. Now, if you go on Thrift Books or A Books or Cheap Textbooks or something like that, you can get that same book just like I got this one here for about 10 bucks, maybe $15. I suggest you really get it because if you get it, you're going to do way better because you're going to be able to do things like write in the book. Okay, and take some notes in there and have a hard copy with you all the time. You don't have to. You have this book here. This book here, if you open it, you have it for life. Now, if the if the school changes over and stuff like that, it'll still follow you. You can still use it. You can print stuff out. But I like having a, a solid book. So you don't have to get it. You can if you want to. Okay, go to modules next. And in modules, you're going to see all the stuff that you need for this class. Getting started about your instructor. That's about me. Let's see. You should have that already done in here. There we go. It's already done. Good. So there will be like a picture in there and everything. Okay. You can find out a little bit about me, about how I like to do the class. Course Cafe. That's a place where you can write questions in general and you guys can check. And I'll be checking on that too. And you guys can actually have kind of a, um, a way to communicate off topic stuff if you really want to. Right. Now, week one overview. You have reading textbook table of contents inter interactive lecture so this is a lecture that you get in the in the um uh class as you're doing it okay so this will be like a, a totally different kind of thing let's take a look at it real quick human body to do and it has all these little modules in here and you should go through them pick at this a little bit at a time you don't have to do the whole class at once. Everything is usually done due by Wednesday or Sunday, depending on when the class starts. But Wednesday, try to have those discussions done. Discussions. What the hell are discussions? Okay, so we go down here. We have a discussion board. Let's see. Where is it? Right here. Can we log into that? Where am I at? Where is my thing? Discussion. So as we log into that here, we're going to talk about homeostasis. So this one, due Wednesday by 11.59 Pacific Time. Pacific Time means West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, right, or the, what, the right coast, uh, if you're on the East Coast, that's going to be four hours difference, right? So it's going to be uh, Wednesday at, uh, what is it, 12.59, 1.59, 2.59, 2.59, right? 3.59, I think, right, in, in the Eastern times. So, but these are due 
at that time. Try to get them done as early as possible. Respond to at least two of your fellow students. And when you respond, look at my other videos on the YouTube channel, which I'll give, uh, I mean, this you're, you're gonna be looking at it here because I'm gonna send this to you, but subscribe, go down and subscribe. And then when you subscribe, I want you to like it. You don't have to any comment on any of those videos, but that way, and you get the little bell thing, you hit the little bell thing, you guys can get notifications of when I do updates for this class. So there's a lot of different things we have on here. I have many, many videos that'll help you understand what's in the book. Okay. So if you want to watch stuff, you're on the train, you're on the bus, uh, you're sitting in a park or something like that, or you're just at home kind of vegging out, you can pull up your phone, you can look at YouTube and you can watch some of the videos and at least get that stuff in your head. This is designed to have you interact with it. And that's what we want to do, right? So before starting week one, to introduce yourself to the class. So we now know who you are. How do you, you know, what, what name do you like to be called? Where are you from? Okay. Um, why did you want to become a health professional? When I used to do classes that were um, in person, I'd always ask this question. I want to find out why you guys wanted to get into this. And then we could usually kind of tailor some of the stuff in the class towards your exact thing you want to do. So let's say you wanted to become uh, a paramedic or you wanted to become a surge tech or you wanted to become a surgeon or you want to become a pediatrician or a dental hygienist or a dentist or whatever we would add some stuff in the class as we went along to make it more interesting more applicable now this is already designed that way which is a good thing and i'll still do that for you guys as well what are your ultimate career goal goals i mean you know what do you want to do with this uh now this one here as you read i'm going to give you kind of hints on this one so mr shepherd has gone outside to shovel snow on a cold day so obviously he was wearing a coat right? Probably boots and hat. How does his body maintain a relatively constant body temperature? Describe this process in detail. Now, a lot of people want to say like, well, if it gets too hot, he takes off his hat. If it gets too hot because he's shoveling, he takes off his coat. Those are good, but that's not what his body does. Homeostasis is what your body does to maintain its normal temperature. Homeostasis is like keeping things still at one level, right? Homeo one or same, and then stasis is is being still basically so as you say stat hurry up you know it's like it's like it's like set here is what that really means so like you want to be comfortable at 98.6 say right so if it's too hot what do you usually do what if it's too hot outside what does your body do okay like a dog would pant right it's because they're gonna get some more air moving they're gonna <laughs> and breathe off all that extra hot air or something like that um some animals uh uh, like elephants open their ears up and wave their ears to get some air because the blood goes to the surface and they can like cool off that way. Others go for a swim, of course, right? But there's things that our bodies do if they get too hot or too cold. What happens if you're too cold? You're standing at a bus stop or you're standing outside talking with friends and you forgot your sweater and you start to, right? And when you do that kind of thing, that's the answer to this kind of question. That's why I want you to think with this kind of stuff, what your body does, what parts of your body react. Is it the brain? Is it the skin? Is it the lungs? Is it the heart? What? Now there's other things you can do too. As you move, you increase heat, okay? So you respond to two other people, and when you respond, what I want you to do is not <clears throat> um, just say, great idea, I really like the way you answered that. That's okay, I mean, because I want you guys to interact with each other, but you can say like, hey, Joe, I thought that was a good one, and you know what I thought of too? Is that some people sometimes, uh, I notice their face gets red and your fingers get uh, pale when you get too cold. And then you know, how does that relate to this? You know, I mean, maybe there's there's what's called vasoconstriction, the vasodilation, and those kind of things. You can talk about hypothermia or hyperthermia. You can talk about frostbite. All these kind of stuff in there, right? So we're trying to keep this on that anatomy and physiology realm, okay? Now here, if you go to this little clickety-click, those three little dots, right? Right where is that? Right, right up there. Three little dots. You click at and it says show rubric. Okay. What the heck's a rubric? A rubric is how we're doing the grading. So check this out. So the initial post content and comprehension. Did you understand what we were asking? Did you um, write down, demonstrate everything that we need? Here we say post demonstrates depth of understanding of course content, addresses discussion prompts completely, right? And offers a clear point of view. Okay, so so three, four lines. Let's get some meat and potatoes. We don't need a lot of other fluff stuff. You don't have to write a whole bunch on this. Was it done on time? That's two whole points, right? Initial post, did your grammar and mechanics, that means starting a sentence with a capital, a capital letter, ending the sentence with a period, 
and having commas where they're supposed to be and not where they're not supposed to be, that's the kind of stuff. Now, if you want to do this in handwriting, I want you to really work on your handwriting because I get people doing the loopy thing and that's too hard for me to read. You can do this as a PDF best choice easiest for me to read you can also do it as a doc or a doc x file okay so that means you have to have windows but pdf probably the best if you're doing like google docs really hard i can't open that stuff and jpegs are almost impossible i'll look at them anyway but make sure you get them really centered on me okay now peer responses this is six to four points this is another whole almost half right one to two response posts okay you need to have two in this one submits required number of posts two Response extends the discussion by making connections. John, I thought it was great that you talked about this part, and that means that this and this. So you can repeat what they said to help you understand better, but I want you to add a little bit to each conversation. Okay, that really helps. Response timeliness, you did it on time. Two points, or no points, right? Um, grammar and mechanics, same thing. You know, easy peasy, you guys should be able to do this one. Um, some people have login problems, some people have other issues. If you have problems with this Canvas pro thing, get a hold of me and get a hold of the online coordinator for you or whoever helped you out with the, the first logins because they'll help you out with this stuff really well. Okay, Like I said, we also have some uh, other things too. Now, if you look at your grade, this is what it's going to say, I hope. Da, 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 da. Due date, so it should have a due date on here. Let due date. Oh, by due date. So July 5th, discussion on homeostasis out of 20. You can see all your grades. Right now we don't have anything on here because we haven't done anything, right? So there's a whole bunch of little things in here, and we have also quizzes, and we have everything else. So let's go here. We're going to look at modules again. As we go down here, week one, okay? Overview, reading, um, what's this say? AHP, uh, blah, 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 blah. Interactive lecture, homeostasis, instructor session. Let's see what this says. Now, every week we'll have a Zoom, and that Zoom may, it, it, it's going to basically be on a lot of your your stuff that you need to do to, to do better in the class, and that's what I, I've logged them as. Every week I set an announcement for you guys, at least two of them. One of them will have a video that I've already done about what we're doing. Okay, so it'll have some hints for you, and that's a good easy half hour. You can watch it anytime you want. Any Zooms that we do together, which is usually going to be Mondays, but I want to do them in the afternoons at some points too, we'll also get um, uh, a recording that you can look at, and that's going to be over here. Like, look on this thing, um, blah, 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 next, Zoom. Now, Zoom is a thing you got to download a couple things. We're going to have no upcoming meetings yet because I only do them one at a time. And I haven't set anything up for this class yet, but they will be on there. Okay, so what you do is you look for your, your meetings. There's no previous meetings. You can look at cloud recordings, and that's where you get the information. You'll say, hey, there's one here, topic, uh, week two Zoom meeting or something like that. ID number, start time, and you can click on it, and then yay for you. You can watch a whole thing of me talking usually to nobody okay but sometimes you can see what else is going on and we'll do some discussion in there because people have questions as well right okay so let's go here Oop, no we don't want syllabus where are we at here Boop, let's go down and up okay so syllabus discussions grades okay go back to modules we're gonna wrap this up in about 30 seconds so don't forget to subscribe on this one okay so that's gonna be the over wait over over there somewhere, maybe right up here. I'll put a subscribe button thing. Just click, click that subscribe thing, at least for this class. I mean, you can you can get rid of it later. It's no big deal. But you subscribe right now, and you'll get other videos that I've done. This is under a playlist called um, Anatomy and Physiology. So I'm going to do a lot more of these for you guys because I have this thing figured out where we can do this OBS, and I can be down here in the small thing, and you guys can be over there, and you can watch it. Okay? So as we go down here, student resources, doo -doo 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 -doo, there's going to be a quiz, okay? The quizzes, I have them set so you get to take them twice. Highest grade gets the, the prize, okay? So you guys get a good high grade on it. If you goof up, take it again. Other things too, case studies, huge part of your grade. When you do the case studies, here's how to do them real quickly. Case studies, start assignment, okay? You're going to download the week one lab sheet, okay? It's going to look like this. Da, 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 da. So you got to download it and you're going to open it up. And down on these four lines right here, or five, six lines, that's where you're going to put your answer. Then you're going to save it as a PDF or a doc file or a docx file. And you're going to send it back to me based on this whole thing. How the heck do I get back? Boom. There we go. Bottom. Okay. 
So you're going to send it back to me and then I'm going to be able to hurry up and grade it for you and you're going to get 35 out of 35 because you guys are amazing. This is going to be a quick class. Stay up with me. Um, we'll get it done. I'm here for you. You guys be here for each other and communicate with each other and we can figure this out. This is Dr. Sean over at, um, well, I'm on my channel, which is the Natural Body Works, but you guys have a great one. Keep in contact with me as much as you can. I'll respond to those within 24 hours as best I can, 36 at the latest, and I check every day for those and keep in contact with those, the announcements or whatever, the announcements which are over there and all that other jazz, and we will see you on the flip side. Okay, bye.